Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing from a brand that is new to me. I just recently found this brand. It's an Australian brand called The Horse and I shared a bag of theirs on my channel and I have been loving her. I am going to do a little bit of an updated review on that bag in this video and I'm going to unbox a brand new bag from them that they were gracious enough to send me. I do have a little bit of a story around this unboxing so I cannot wait to share all of the details with you. If you're new here, Welcome, my name is Alyssa and I have a blog called The Gal's Guide and I come on here and I review my luxury and contemporary handbags. So if you love handbags as much as I do, you should definitely consider subscribing down below. Hit that little red button, I would love to have you join this little community with me here. And to my current subscribers, thank you so, so much for being here. I'm so grateful for you and I genuinely love chatting with you in the comments down below. I am so grateful to have this platform and I really appreciate all of your likes, all of your comments comments and all your support truly means the world to me. That being said, let's get into the video. So the bag that started it all for me with this brand is the Clementine bag, which I have right here. This is my bag of the day today. I've been wearing her so much. And the reason I picked this up is I was looking for a Loewe puzzle bag dupe and I found this and this is $180. And the leather is impeccable. It is so beautiful. I love the shape. I love the slouch. And I just cannot believe the quality of the leather for the price point. It really is amazing. And it just does everything that I need it to do and more. I love the fact that it has the top handle with the adjustable and removable crossbody strap. And I love the leather. I love the size. I love the quality. The bottom does have these like raised pieces of leather. It doesn't have feet, but the leather overall is pretty durable where I really haven't been worrying about babying it and I'm just obsessed. It does have silver hardware. I would love to see them come out with a gold hardware bag. I don't think that they have gold hardware on any of these bags. However, these bags are available for pre-order. I will put that link in my description box below. They have two other colors and I just think this is an amazing buy. So I'll show you the capacity as well. This is what I have in here. I can fit everything that I need. I've got my headphones, a bunch of cosmetics, two small leather goods. I could also fit my phone in here. It's just like a big catch-all and I just love the way it opens. It opens very wide. You can easily get in and out of it and then when it's time to close it, it has these like magnetic closures here and it's very easy to keep shut. It's very easy to get in and out of. I just think it's amazing. So this bag I highly recommend and so I had posted my video on this bag and the brand had saw it and reached out to me and they asked if they can send me their newest bag which I'm going to be unboxing in real time with you. So I was so over the moon ecstatic like I really love this bag and I can truly say that I stand by their quality so I'm very excited to unbox this next bag. So let's get into that together. So I took it out of the post office box and I have it here in the dust bag. So I have not opened this, I have not seen this, but they sent me their Alexi Tote, which is a brand new bag to the brand. So we are gonna open her together, which, wow, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Ooh, this one has feet on the bottom. So we've got silver feet and it has the branding here. I love it. We're gonna take all the packaging off, but as you can see, the shape definitely is giving Hermes vibes, in my opinion. There are two bags from Hermes that I think that this bag kind of morphs together, and it's the Picatin plus the Clements and Swift bag, if you know what I'm talking about. This leather truly is so good. Like, it is at the level of luxury, and I think that this bag retails for $165. So that is truly an amazing price for a full leather bag to begin with, but at this quality level, it's like, I can't even believe it. So I'm gonna take all this packaging off and then I will come back. Okay, wow. So I just took all the packaging off and I'm gonna do an overview of this bag. So I'm gonna show you the top. To secure it, you can tie the strings and you can clamp this like strap in the center shut to give it this very cute bucket shape 
which definitely reminds me of that Clements and Swift bag from Hermes. Like this shape really looks just like it. I am going to untie it for the sake of this. It has like this little snap button feature if you did want to do that with the bag or you can leave it open kind of like the Picatin shape. However, this bag is high quality in itself. Like I just am so impressed. I love the stitching and the lining and the piping. I just think that it looks very quiet luxury. Everything on the bag is pristine. The interior is stunning. It's like a micro suede kind of material and then it has the leather at the bottom. What I love is that it feels quite structured. It feels like this is going to stand the test of time. It's going to continue to stand up, keep its shape. I love the fact that it has feet on the bottom. That's a huge win for me. So I just absolutely am so impressed. And then the crossbody strap will hook on to these little hooks here, which I will show you. The crossbody strap goes on like this. It doesn't have a clamp and you just kind of loop it through and then you can make it whatever size works for you. So that's what I'm going to do. So I just put it on the second shortest setting and I'm going to see how that lays on me. I will definitely show you mod shots. Overall, my first impression so far is this bag is definitely at the level of luxury. I cannot believe the quality on these pieces. This bag did not disappoint. I absolutely love it. This one I already know is going to be for like a work bag. Like I can definitely fit all of my work essentials in here aside from my laptop. So this one I did wear to work today and I still have plenty of room. This one is going to be for the days when I definitely need to carry more, but I think it is so, so cute. This is a really great great mid-size bag. So for those of you that do not like to downsize, this is definitely going to be a great pick for you. I love the fact that it has like a bucket kind of style with the top handles and I love the fact that it has the added security with the ties. So I'm going to go ahead and tie it and show you what this looks like just to see like how much it will actually close and it does look like you're going to get it like pretty secure. So this is what it looks like. So obviously the sides are still a little bit open but I I really do like that. I think that that is a really great feature and I absolutely love the shape. One more detail, you can wrap your keys around this little hook and then you just snap this shut and you can hang something from this and that way it stays inside your bag and you never lose it and it can kind of dangle in there. So I am so impressed. I'm going to do some mod shots to show you what this looks like styled on me. I'm 5 foot 2 for reference and I have this on the second shortest setting. So as a crossbody, this is a little bit too high so I am going to lengthen the strap. I actually am shocked that it's this high up. I thought that it was longer so I will show you what this looks like a little bit longer on me but if you wanted it to be very high up this is what she looks like okay so this is what she looks like on the longest setting the shorter setting was a little bit too short for me it was coming way too high up so I would say if you are tall just keep that in mind the crossbody strap is not very long but I really like this like this on me I would probably prefer to wear this more as a long shoulder bag or a top handle this is what she looks like as a long shoulder bag. I really like it like this. I like the thickness of the strap. I think it's very comfortable to wear on the shoulder and I really like where this lays. I think this is a really good height for me. And then on the crook of the arm, this is what she looks like. This is definitely going to be my preferred way to wear her. I really love the look of this. It definitely looks very chic and very effortless like this and it's very lightweight where this isn't going to be too heavy. So finally, I wanted to do a little bit of a comparison between the two bags if you're looking to decide which one is best for you in your lifestyle. So firstly, let's talk about size. The Alexi Tote is definitely bigger than the Clementine bag. This one you can definitely fit more in. I would say the size comparison, you can definitely see the difference. All of the measurements on the Alexi are quite a bit bigger. This one does fit a substantial amount, but this one's more for like if you need an iPad, an umbrella, maybe you want to put your Stanley in here. This is definitely the size I would recommend. This one, I really like the fact that it has feet on the bottom. I think that that's a really big pro in my opinion. If you're somebody who likes to protect your investment, that's definitely a perk. 
I do think that this one is definitely more of a bucket style. So depending on the style that you're interested in, this in my opinion is definitely a little bit more casual. I think that this is a style that you can wear out to dinner by taking the crossbody strap off, but I would say a bucket bag in my opinion is definitely not like a very dressy piece. This one, I feel like you have more opportunity to dress it up. And I'm gonna tell you why. I feel like the slouchy kind of look, when you take the crossbody strap off, it looks very elegant. There's something about this shape that I think just looks very luxury. And I don't know if it's because I'm just envisioning the Loewe puzzle bag, but this bag just really works for me. I also really like the fact that I have this in black because I do wear a lot of black, especially when I go out. So I would say if you're looking for something that's a little bit easier to dress up, this would be the one that I would choose. Now, as far as overall wear and tear, I think that there is the exact same durability on these bags. I think the leather is basically the exact same and they both smell so good. Like I can just smell them right now and it's amazing. I would say the durability is definitely a perk on both of these. This one is a little bit more lightweight than this one. So if you're looking for a very light bag, this one's a little bit lighter. And then as far as price point goes, this one is more cost effective. So this one is $165, this one is $180. So I think that they both have a lot of pros. There's no cons that I really have about either of these bags, to be honest with you. I think that the only thing for this one would be the fact that the crossbody strap is quite short. So if you are taller, that would be something to keep in mind. This one, you definitely have more room to play with. This one I wear on the second shortest setting, and then this one I have on the longest setting. So for my height being five foot two, that's what works for me. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you're looking for a top handle carry, that's not gonna matter that much, but if you are someone that's looking for more of a crossbody, in my opinion, I would go with the Clementine bag. So I will say they are both beautiful. You can't go wrong with either of them. I'm so unbelievably grateful to the horse for sending me the Alexi bag. If you're watching this, thank you so much. I am so grateful and I am so glad to have found this brand. This brand is truly changing the game for the luxury market. The quality of this leather is superb and I know a lot of you bought the Clementine bag based on my last video and I cannot wait for you to get it. I think it's amazing. I hope that you love it. So I cannot wait to hear from you. What are your thoughts? Which bag do you like better? And if if you got the Clementine bag, definitely let me know. Give me an update on how you're liking her. That is going to conclude this video. If you're still here with me, thank you so, so much for being here. I so appreciate you spending your time with me. If you have any questions about either of these bags, I would be happy to answer those for you in the comments down below. And if you like handbag reviews, don't forget to subscribe. I've got some more unboxings coming very soon. Thank you so much again for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video.